Hello and welcome back to the David67 Sell to News YouTube channel. Today's um, bonus video is a wee video profile of a very talented Japanese midfielder, a player that has in the past been heavily scouted by Celtic and was particularly lined up to come to Celtic in the time of Andrew Postacoglu. His contract is up next summer and he is looking for a move away from German football and his name has been cropping up again on Celtic fan sites um, as a potential target for Celtic to cover their number six, their number eight and their number ten role as he is a very, very versatile and um, talented midfielder. His name is Io Tanaka. He is a 25-year-old Japanese international, 27 full caps for Japan with eight international goals, which is impress impressive for a midfielder. He's been playing at Fortuna Dusseldorf um, for a few seasons. And um, unfortunately for them, they failed to come through the promotion playoffs. And so they remain in Bundesliga 2. And with his contract being up next summer, it's thought that Tanaka is now moving, looking for a move, take a step up in terms of quality of football. And so... It is thought that a move to uh, the Scottish Premiership and the chance at Champions League football um, could be uh, an option for Tanaka. There has been some minor interest from teams in the English Premier League, such as Everton in the past, although that appears to have died away uh, a month or so ago. Um, and there does not appear at this time to be anybody actively looking to sign Tanaka. And so he would be potentially a good option for Celtic. So just a one or two wee um, bits of additional stats. As I say, 25 years old, 5 foot 11. Um, can play defensive midfield, central midfield and attacking midfield. Um, primarily plays defensive midfield for Fortuna Dusseldorf. But for Japan, very much plays central midfield and attacking midfield and has had quite a number of good goals for Japan in those 27 games. Looking at his um, full career last season at Dusseldorf, he very much improved on his goals output last season at Dusseldorf. 36 games, 8 goals, 4 assists and his season rating 7.09 out of 10, which is a good rating um, for any player. And looking at his more in-depth stats, has excellent um, stats for short, medium and long passes, uh, amongst the best ratings I've seen for long passing on any player in the football rating systems. Um, good uh, ratings for winning aerial duels and ground duels. Uh, reaching 50-50 and very good stats for midfield defence such as interceptions, clearances, breaking up attacks and um, is a player who gives away very few yellow cards and uh, very few um, fouls as well both of which might well be um, good indicators of a skilled tackler and an intelligent player so, as I often do, I've taken some highlights from a couple of different YouTube creators and popped those into this video. So, have a wee look at the two sets of highlights. I have purposely removed some of the highlights which re uh, relate to his time playing internationally, as the Japanese FA is often rather poor at sharing its footage for copyright but the full versions are available um, on YouTube and I would suggest having a look at the two full videos additionally to uh, this extracted video.
was two uh, extracted videos combined into one with the copyright disclosures. Now, my own interpretation, having watched um, the full versions of both those videos and a couple of other scouting highlight reels by YouTube, plus having a look at all his stats online, he does look to me um, a potentially very good player for Celtic. If he did come to us, he'd be coming at the age of 25, which is a, basically the peak age for midfielders. As I said earlier, he already uh, will have been playing for him with Hatati, Kyogo, um, and Maeda through Japanese international squads. A very versatile player. Um, from the videos, very good at tackling, very good at breaking up play in midfield, tremendous energy, gets box to box. He kind of reminded me of a combination of Rio Hitati and Dyson Maida. Good, powerful shot, good finisher, um, very good on the ball, very good at holding off challenges, uh, great vision. Uh, to see the pitch and find the right pass, able to pass over the top of defences, through defences, and switch the play from one wing to the other. And to me, does strike me as being an all-round very good player. It's thought that his transfer value at the moment is at 4 million euros. I suspect that's come down a wee bit with him being out of contract in um, 10, 11 months' time. I'm a wee bit surprised there isn't an awful lot of interest in signing him as he's clearly shown at international level he is a good player. There may be some misgivings because he's been playing German Bundesliga 2 the last couple of seasons and so he maybe hasn't been followed by um, top teams quite so much as he might have been had he been playing in Bundesliga 1. But as I said, Celtic do have a uh, full scouting dossier on him from a couple of years ago. He was a player being lined up by Ange Postacoglu to add to the Japanese ranks at Celtic. But he now seems to have, having previously fallen off the radar, may well be coming back into Celtic's um, targets. And for me, I think he would be an excellent player, potentially a role if Matt O'Reilly does leave the club. Um, and we are successful with signing Paolo Bernardo and Tanner Tessman. I think there is an, a role equally to add Ao Tanaka on top of that, as he would provide us a good starter in the 6, the 8 and the 10 role, and so would cover, um, for me, the injuries potentially with McGregor and Hatati and would cover um, along with Paolo Bernardo um, the loss of Matt O'Reilly in that number 10 attacking midfield role. However, as always, we'd be delighted to see your own thoughts and your own comments uh, on Eo Tanaka. And as I said, there are um, several longer scouting videos which do include. Japanese international footage um, and do suggest having a look at the additional full videos online uh, as well as today's video. Just a wee reminder as we finish off, just if you are new to the channel and you've liked this video and the general content of the channel, please do click that subscriber um, button, keep the numbers pushing past 750. And if you've liked the video, please click, click that like button and as always, Feel free to put those comments into the comment section regarding Dio Tanaka and the potential signing of him at Celtic. And so for today, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, goodbye, and hail, hail.